Lady Stanfield finish. Yeah, and it'll be ours if that girl's hurt. Remember Barnett's orders about her. There she goes. Hey, what's the meaning of this? You said you worked for Wade Barnett. I do. That pair just robbed Barnett and made a clean get away. All right, get back to work, boy. All right, there you go. Hey, Dorgan, come here. Back to work, boys. They won't get far. Look, their gas tank's ripped. Now we've got them. Come on. Well, I suppose it's all right. Wade Barnett and his outfit run this county. Looks like it. Something's wrong. Pull off the road. Look and see if your father's men are following us. like they made a getaway. Judging from the gas along the road, they can't get much farther. Keep going. Gas tank smashed. Oh, you have on the vanishing ray. You can escape. Their father's men, they won't hurt me. But then they'll make you a prisoner again. Oh, wait. I have a better idea. Now get this on as quickly as you can. I have it on, all right. Now stand by the car, let them see you, then duck into the bushes. When you're out of sight, press these three buttons, and then you'll disappear. Now, do you understand exactly what you have to do? Yes, I do. Hurry, please. All right. I'll be waiting down the road. She couldn't be. We were just two jumps behind her. I don't like this, Dorgan. There's some deviltry going on. People don't disappear. Don't be a fool, Kent. She's somewhere around here. We'll find her. You watch the car, Badger. Oh, back there guessing. All right, let her go. Step on it. What happened? Where's the car? What'd you shoot at? The car just went by itself. Nobody in it. You're either drunk or crazy, Badger. All right. 
Whatever's in that car was the same thing that cracked you in the jaw. Well, we won't talk about it. We'll borrow a car from that road gang down there. Come on. Professor Van Dorn's cabin. Van Dorn? He won't let me in. He thinks I'm aiding Father in his attempt to get your Tribune stock. Well, you'll be in before he knows it. Change seats with me and use the vanishing ray. an electrical key. Watch the gate. Glad to see you back safe, Stanfield. Where'd you get the car? Across the Barnett's crowd. What do you think of it? I had to take it. They put yours out of commission. Oh. Well, I'll send back for it. And the girl? You found that she is working with those men? Oh, no. On the contrary, I found that she's everything that, that I... she is working with her father, Barnett. Oh, just as honest. I said. The vanishing ray! Somebody has stolen it! Wait, Gloria! I don't intend to be insulted. Don't go like that. The professor didn't mean all that. Van Dorn. Miss Brad, I'm sorry, but there's nothing in the world I fear as much as women. You have no reason to fear me, Professor. I'm not dangerous. All women are dangerous. But they're not all treacherous. Perhaps you're right. And since Stanfield vouches for you, won't you accept my apologies? Come inside, please. Well, we've got to get hold of either Stanfield's or McDonald's Tribune stock somehow. They have enough voting stock to control the coming board meeting. McDonald refuses to consider any offer for his stock until he has seen Stanfield and has his consent. Well, we've got to prevent their meeting. Well, what now? Have you located Stanfield? He's taken the girl from the pines and gone. How? Oh. There were four of you guarding the house. I don't know how. Some sort of black magic. Black magic rot. This isn't the Middle Ages. It's the 20th century. All right, listen to what happened. I think I'd better meet McDonald. And arrange to pool his stock with mine in order to get control of the paper. I can make the appointment for you. Mr. McDonald, you know, is my boss. Well, that's fine. While you're doing that, I'll take the stock into some safe place in town. The vault in my city office is impenetrable. Nobody could open that. Unless... Unless what? Unless he happened to possess this little device. <laughs> and what is that? I'll show you by demonstration. Look. Wonderful. Don't you see? We've only to increase its power and range. By George, yes. It'd cut a hole in the side of a battleship. 
Well, bring it along, Professor. If you don't mind, I'd like to look it over. You can't alibi your bungling that way. Go out and get Stanfield. Well, getting Stanfield isn't going to be easy. We could get the girl again, maybe... All right. But remember, she is not to be harmed. But set a watch on her house. She may lead you to Stanfield. I'll get on right away. Yes, Gloria Grant speaking. Give me the editor, Mr. McDonald's line, please. McDonald speaking. Hello, Miss Grant. You can tell Stanfield I'll pool my stock with his and help him carry on his father's fight. Oh, that's fine, Mr. McDonald. I'm going now to see Mr. Stanfield, and I'll let you know where he can meet you. Goodbye. All right. Van Dorn's Electrical Laboratory, 9th and Water Street. She just got in a taxi and started for town. Well, what are you waiting for? Step in there now. The door closes and turns on a chemical ray that destroys the oxygen in the air. The vault being airtight, with a chemical ray burning, an intruder could live there only a few moments. <laughs> Professor, you worry too much about intruders. <laughs> Wait a minute. It's safe now. You sure? Yes. Then I'm going to put my Tribune shares go away. Go in. Put them in that cabinet on the left. Sixty cents, please. Thank you. Keep the engine running. I have an idea that she's led us to stand with you. All right. Now then, I touch this button, and my vault again becomes a trap for intruders. I've talked with Mr. McDonald, Stanley. He agrees to pool his stock with yours so you may retain control of the Tribune. Well, that's great, Gloria. Then we've nothing to fear. I'll call McDonald at once.
we can get Stanfield out of the safe. Oh. 